So how do you know in your life if you have that one goal that you should be going after? And how the heck would you even have time to do it if you could identify it when all of us are too busy and completely overwhelmed? And I'm here today doing something I haven't really ever done to share my story and fill people in on what worked for me and how I got there. So only you can figure out if there's an area of your life where you think you may have dropped that ball, just let it go and almost given up on it. And maybe it's having an impact on your life. So I wanna help you think about this today by going through the six areas that are part of the four key strategies of personal relationships, career, and surroundings. Personal comes first because women, as you know, put themselves last and we should put ourselves first because how are we going to help others if we don't help ourselves? And one of the most important things is to stay healthy and in terms of exercise, a lot of people don't like to go to the gym. I don't like to go to the gym, but I love to bike ride. Everyone's got to find at least one thing out there that they love to do that's good exercise. Even if it's just walking, walking down your street, walking to the park and do it at least once a week, a couple times a week if you can. Connecting with something spiritual that uplifts you, whether it's organized religion, meditation, just communing with nature, that's something important you should do at least every week or two. And feeling healthy physically and mentally, that's something you should feel just about every day. If you don't, that's an area that's being neglected. And when you leave the house, you should like, not necessarily love, ladies, but at least like the way you look. Everyone throws on jeans and old t-shirt once in a while, but most of the time, you want to feel that your appearance is something you want to project to everyone else. And that gives you the confidence that you need to conquer life's challenges. If you don't feel that when you're walking out, then there's a deficiency there. And of course, eating is important too. Eating more fruits and vegetables than junk food. It um, sounds easier than it actually is to do, but if you're doing that every day, then you're achieving that goal. So if any of those goals that I just mentioned in that personal category are something that you think you're not doing, have some courage, raise your hand. Anyone? You don't have to tell us what it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's your one goal. Put that in your head and I'll tell you what to do with it. How can you take one of those areas, figure out what your one goal is, and then achieve that goal? Well, first of all, you've got to decide what it is, decide how you're going to fix it, and then write it down. That's the first step. Your goal can be lofty. It could take you years to achieve like mine did. But it needs to be realistic. You at least know you can get there part of the way. And then you share that goal with others. It makes you accountable. You can have a coach, you can write it down in your journal, you can tell your best friend. But every morning when you wake up and you open your eyes, that goal should be the first thing you think about. Not in that aching sort of way like, oh God, that problem I still haven't solved. No, but in that, that rejuvenating sense of new possibilities. Like when you're pregnant. This is the gestation phase of your life. So how do you stay motivated? You have to take one meaningful step towards your goal every single day. Yes, every single day. So are you going to do that every single day? Well, you're going to tell yourself you are, but you're going to miss a day here or there. You have to recognize that. And when you do, you don't beat yourself up over it. And you don't let that begin the slide of another day and another day and another day. When you miss a day, occasionally you get right back on that horse and the next day you're back doing something meaningful towards your goal. The struggle to juggle will always be there, but you have control to change what's wrong or missing. Your glass is suddenly half full and that will bring fulfillment to your life even if you have teens like I do. And I hope somebody took away a little something to start their own goal. Thank you.